mercy. Businessman, shout mercy. Another person, respectfully speaking, can have an assembly and he's teaching. He may be making a lot of mistakes, scriptural mistakes. The members are correcting his revelation and correcting the verse, yet they will still invite others and come. And you stand and look at the man and say, what exactly is this man preaching? John chapter 5 verse and the, the members chorus 7 say, thank you. You would think that will annoy them and they will leave the church. By next week, they, they are back again. I will tell you what he is doing behind the scene that you are not seeing. When he goes back home. Happy you see. We declare. Your majesty. Happy you see. We declare. Your majesty. Happy you see. Your majesty. your majesty and that person will kneel before God and say father I didn't have the privilege to go to school it's not laziness I am improving myself now you simply sent me to bring life and bring transformation and you promised me you will go with me are you John so 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 and so yes the Lord said somewhere in Enugu state here that you are going to build him a church. See, are you not surprised that it's ordinary people who are making things happen? Is that not a message enough for you? I don't downplay competence. Let me repeat it again. I don't downplay adherence to principles. There are principles in life. I am a teacher of the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. But let me tell you sincerely, when all is said and done, this is it you have tried your best here he comes no it's only because you were lucky it's the cloth you wore that's why you could lift it next week you are still lifting it again after 10 years you are still lifting it again because the helper remains with you I know after five years you will not last oh dear what a joke once the helper is with you you will keep rising they were just lucky to be blessed i'm sure that 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 car it will not last another one will not come but the helper comes again i'm sure that ministry is just because the church is around his village people no sir the only explanation to the mysterious continuity of great men is the help of god that has come as mercy Listen, we're wrapping up. I wish I had the time to share my testimonies and tell you my stories. You will think I'm lying and you will think I'm exaggerating. And sometimes because sadly the body of Christ can misunderstand when you say some of these things. They take it for pride. But I live perpetually in awe of what the mercy of God can do. Believe me when I tell you, if you ever are looking for one person who is a recipient of God's mercy, it is this man standing before you. I have seen God do things in my life that you can almost tap yourself and say, wake up. Then said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad. Listen, the Lord is calling you tonight. In addition to your prayer, your fasting, your word life, your consecration, powerful kingdom principles to never compromise on. You want to soar? The energy that lifts the plane does not come from the plane. The energy that lifts the plane is already programmed in nature. So when you see the plane rising, that weight cannot rise like that. If the plane could rise on its own, it would rise like a bed without speed. It needed to tap into the law. Some of you, you have been walking, then you've tried running. You have not gotten to that speed. Let his hand lift you. And all of a sudden, you will see yourself swimming.
soaring in realms realms and dimensions of the grace of God you will marvel and you will wonder you will lay up gold as dust God will honor you and bless you recently a, an international body it's a global body I return home and I get this letter and they write this letter that they want to give me an award and I'm looking at it and saying award how does this in of course it may not be unusual that they've heard about me but what in the world is this an award by this body I know the kinds of people who receive awards from that body and I just went back I said God what is this what is this what is this That you can sit down in worship and in awe and God will take someone else's prayer point and bring it for you as a gift and say, take, this is it. I live a life of worship and awe because I thank God for showing me his mercy. My life would have been miserable. Every time you think we are some kind of of extra extraordinary people on one hand there are sacrifices that have been made I will tell you that in truth on one hand he has obtained grace to walk in keeping with certain principles but the other side of it please don't ask me it is the hand of God and his mercy for me it is not a recitation after service surely goodness and mercy these two spirits have stayed with me I know what it means to see the goodness of God I know what it means to see the mercy of God my assignment tonight is to prophesy over your life there is a dimension of mercy you must enter into this night are we together yes for when that happens you will watch your life and you will know the difference for some of you, the moment the mercy of God steps in, you will not even spend one month in this country. Believe me. All of a sudden, doors will open for you. There are pastors, listen. By the time the mercy of God rests upon your altar, people will come and meet you and say, tell the truth. I don't know you are someone who does, uh, uh, what they call it now, herbal medicine or, 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 or bury something under your, what did you do? Because I know you. And you will tell them, listen, I came from the Soar Conference. And while I was seated quietly, a man of God casually talked about this mercy factor. The mercy of God. Where do I get finance to run ministry? It is mercy. Oh. It is mercy. You can cry and call people to sow. And all the millionaires will be watching you as if they didn't hear we are talking about the kingdom here. They say, wow. Well, yeah. Pray and they will pray. Give and they will walk away. And they will walk right to someone else. And say, can I have the privilege of giving you 10, 10 million every month? Mercy. There are some of you, you already have what it takes for the world to celebrate you in all fairness you have worked on yourself ministerially academically business wise in all fairness you have worked on yourself but the mercy of God has not yet rested upon you that's why you can remain and sweep the ground and watch ordinary people as though they were holding a charm it is the mercy of God when it is time to pray I have a few more minutes with you I want you to humble yourself tonight and pray and cry for mercy and say father I know I know that without you without you I can do nothing without you there's no life
to me so i need you in my life today Aleluya. One day I was preparing just worshiping the Lord and resting. And then I get this text that a group of some business people want to see me and they came and they said we're real estate people and we entered a covenant with God. That anywhere in the world we build our estate we must build a house for you till Jesus comes I don't want to tell you how many estates they have built across the globe today and some of those houses have never gone to even go and see it there are keys to houses today that have not even gone to see my I'm not saying this to brag are we together sometimes it's good to challenge people the product of God's mercy product of God's mercy there was a time within the period of two or three weeks God brought 18 cars what do you do with them will you put your leg in one and put your head in another one what kind of thing is that how many houses can you live in even if you travel to every nation see it is what you have that you give you can't give what there's something you are going to receive this night i'm not wasting your time please don't be distracted there is something that must come upon your life tonight because the favor of god is the child of his mercy thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion is that in your Bible? For the time to favor her, yea, the set time. that mobilization John was in one month no poster no nothing coming to Jesus how do you explain this I'm not saying this to brag. I hope you, you, you don't misunderstand it. That God will grant you access to kings and nobles. Access to their heart. And you're wondering and saying, what is this? I'm not saying this to waste your time. I'm saying it because it must walk in your life from this night. That you will return back and as some of you on your way going home you will start seeing a strange call and all that you'll be hearing in your spirit is messy messy and you pick the call and someone will say where are you i was in prayer and fasting and the holy ghost spoke to me 
are you John? Are you Ebuka? Are you this person? Please come see me in my office. Come with two or any two people you want to get a job. And they now come there and you are wondering. They just give them a job just like that. There are some of you by the mercy of God you are going to step into prepared blessings dimensions of blessings that have been prepared for you i'm saying this to you by the spirit of god hear me there are some of you in ministry the level of grace and the hand of god you will begin to see in your life will surprise you prophetic encounters supernatural visitations by the spirit of god There is no limit to what the mercy of God can do in the life of a man. Because, you know, since COVID, many people's lives, churches, ministries, families have gone down, even economically. Let me tell you the truth. It will take God's mercy to go down. When you have lost 1 billion or 100 million in your investment or in your business, what kind of technology are you going to use to gain it back? take the mercy of God I don't know how it works for others but I can tell you how it works for me grace your grace I'm nothing without you your grace please stand Your grace, your grace. Have nothing without you. Your grace. Now hear me i have 10 more minutes with us and we're done out of that 10 minutes we're going to take the next two minutes i don't know how you are going to cry before god i'm going to leave you for the next two minutes lord i acknowledge you as the only one exclusively with the power to lift me and the power to help me and i cry like bind Bartimeu, thou son of david have mercy on me someone pray i don't know how you will cry before god oh but i leave you with god your maker for the next two minutes and that includes those following online god is able to help you and to raise you by his mercy having obtained help from god i continue to this day Go ahead and pray. Mercy. Mercy. you're a man of god in ministry cry for mercy you're a businessman cry for mercy you are a prophet that wants to be used mightily by god cry for mercy an apostle a teacher of the word cry for mercy 
believe me that outside of the message of God there is not much you can do this is true two minutes you are crying to your God and your maker pray mercy no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has in store for me so I submit to your work in me Till Christ be formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ is formed in me. No eye has seen. No ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ is formed in me. Hey. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I Submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me. Till Christ be formed in me. Your glory revealed through me. Your wisdom be found in me. Your favor rests on me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what you have prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ form in me. Listen to me. The Bible says, if my people which are called by my name in as much as they are called by my name the first thing is that they must humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways it says then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land The next time you say, Lord, I need your help. What you are saying is keep me in the zone of your mercy. Mercy. Now you know it is not an immature spiritual prayer. When you go to the place of prayer and you roll from left to right, crying and say, show me mercy. Show me mercy. It was that brokenness that God found in the young boy Solomon that made him to receive such a rich investment of wisdom when Solomon was asked what do I give you he didn't just say give me an understanding heart he said Lord I am young and you have given me such a great people who is able to lead these people he confessed his ignorance and his limitation if there is something I know about God I don't know everything about God but there are a few things I know about one of it is that the presence of God is attracted and sustained by the cry of brokenness. Not the accuracy in prayer. Not the degree of compliance to the word alone. 
the presence of God is attracted and sustained by the voice of brokenness. Show me a man and a vessel that is and remains ever broken. You have found a way of trapping God's presence to your domain eternally. Let this mind be in you. The Bible says Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. Which was also in Christ Jesus. It says that even though he was God. He did not consider it a robbery. Right? That he had that equality. Yet he humbled himself. He submitted himself and died even the death on the cross. He says wherefore. By reason of assuming that posture in the spirit and even physically. God had so highly exalted him and placed him upon him an office that is greater than every other office. It says that whoever invokes the authority that comes with that office, you see that? Whether of things in heaven, of things in the earth or under the earth, every tongue, every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father. I am telling you now that in the kingdom and in the life that we live in the spirit, our advantage and our edge is maintaining that posture of brokenness. Whether you are Jacob or Gideon or David or Solomon or even Jesus, it does not matter who you are. If it is the God of the Bible, you want to secure his presence and his help. You must perpetually remain in the place of brokenness. Crying for his mercy. Because one genuine encounter with God's mercy can rewrite your life. Rewrite your destiny. Hallelujah. Let me speak over your life. Some of you, your spiritual fire has gone down. Some of you, your passion for spiritual things has gone down. Your prayer life is almost zero. Nothing to write home about. You may even be a man of God. Just because you are preaching does not mean your prayer life and your word life is alive. You are the one who knows your stay with God. Some of you right now, based on the assessment of your non-compliance to kingdom principles, you do not deserve certain levels of the hand of God. But the mercy of God is about to speak for you. Can I pray for you in the name of Jesus? We call upon the helper of men and the merciful God. May he show you mercy tonight. Mercy over your spiritual life. Mercy over your family. Mercy over your finances. Mercy over your ministry. Yes. Mercy over your health. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. I pray that by reason of the blood. And that which happened in Calvary. May mercy speak for you. Yes. The same mercy speaks against every altar. And every manifestation of darkness over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak prophetically over your life. By reason of the mercy of God. Rise to heights unimagined. I open doors of opportunity for you by the mercy of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. The one who comes to make your walk with God easy. The one who comes to make your life possible in the name of Jesus. He who died and rose again. I call for his ministry in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to leave this place. Return home with this revelation. Protect it and guard it. Teach everyone you know. And let them know that you have found a very powerful key so when they look at you and say man of God you are such an anointed man appreciate them sincerely but tell them hold on don't go yet let me tell you something that except for and except by the mercy of God even in the midst of this plenty 
we do not amount to much added to their understanding that above and beyond the spiritual paraphernalia is the mercy of God that backs you you're a businessman and God continues to increase and multiply you when people come to you and say what are you doing be honest with them show them the place of diligence show them the place of compliance with kingdom laws and when you are done and they're about to go and say thank you say hold on don't be in a rush come back there is a dimension I need to teach you the spirit life is not complete with man's effort alone there is the help of God that grants men the strength even to continue you're a man of God and God is doing much through you in this city in the east of the Niger and around when people applaud you receive it with joy and sincerity but please I beseech you do well to let them know truthfully so that beyond what you saw that you clapped for there is the one you have not seen and in one word it is called the help of God I am a product of the help of God you say that way your mentorship and your counsel to them will be complete so you have left them responsible believers understanding the precepts of the kingdom and the spirit that they should walk and live by but then in addition you leave them with that understanding that if your strength resides only in the consciousness of your prayer life and your word life and just your obedience and all of these things the life of Peter in John 21 was a lesson for us Peter was a fisherman professionally Peter had a boat that was working he had a net that was working he was by the sea where fish should be yet strangely he did not catch fish there are times that everything is right yet you will still not have results God does that in everybody's life once in a while so that he will remind you there are times that God himself will stop the results from happening so that you are surprised then he says no it's not that this thing should not work I stopped it only to bring to your awareness that there is still another dimension the help of God because when your strength continues to lift you sometimes you can forget it's a weakness in men it has nothing to do with being good or bad it's a weakness in men I know if I go for the meeting, people will be healed and blessed. I know. I glory be to God, but you don't mean it. And they laugh and say, he has come again. Mighty man of God. So there are times God will draw your ears. And because we are usually very stubborn and we don't pay attention, the only way he helps us to turn is to withdraw results. Every time God withdraws results, men will turn to him. And he will say, it was not about the results. I wanted your attention. Remember that I am still there. May the Lord bless you tonight. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Now please hear me. Tomorrow I want to encourage everyone. In as much as I, I hope I've obtained permission. Can I invite everyone to come sir? Because I want to share something that is very powerful. You need to understand the spirit life. Listen carefully. Don't think it's just a leaders meeting. Just to come and teach administration and the rest. There is something about the spirit life that if you do not understand in this end time, you will not be able to stand. <clears throat> Are we together? Yes. He said, those who walk not by the flesh, but by the spirit, you need to know how to, un you need to understand the dynamics of the spirit life. Throughout tomorrow, our teaching will center around that. I will be showing you a few things. And I trust that someone will be receiving an impartation that will really transform your life. So tomorrow in the morning, 8 o'clock, what? 9 o'clock it starts, and then the evening session. Please invite everybody you know in Enugu, including those who need to connect online, and tell them that God is helping them. May I also request that as you return home, please try to listen to this message again. Search for it. The church social media platform is there. Listen to it and pray with it. The Lord bless you. I decree and declare that your return home is safe. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Because of that which you have received tonight, let the mercy of God begin to speak instantly. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you very much.